What's up guys? So this video is definitely for GH5 users and specifically GH5 and Speed Booster combo users. The other day I was out shooting a music video with my GH5 Metabone Speed Booster Ultra and the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. I had my lens all the way at 18 and I was shooting at probably 2.0 or 2.2. I was getting a wide shot of my subject and when I set the lens to infinity focus, and then punched in to check the focus, it didn't quite reach my subject. And I kind of started freaking out. I was like, what's wrong with my lens? What I did to fix it on the set was just zoomed in a little bit and stopped down a little bit and it was totally fine, no issues. I still really wanted my lens to be able to be zoomed all the way out and be wide open and still be sharp if possible. So I did some Googling when I got home and come to find out that other people have had this issue too. And it's not a lens issue, it's not a GH5 issue, it's actually a speed booster issue. So I went to the Metabones website and they actually have an instructions list for this, which I'll link below. And there's other videos about this out there, but I know that some of you guys that have watched my videos before use GH5, so I wanted to share it with you guys since I learned it. Before you even like worry about this, just set up your lens in a very wide shot with a landscape maybe and open up your lens to like 1.8 or whatever is really wide zoom it all the way out punch in on your screen and just see if everything is in focus in the in the distance and if it is you have nothing to worry about and this is probably useless information and if not then i'll guide you through this and we'll get it fixed for you you'll need a really small flathead screwdriver so on the speed booster ultra and also for the, the 0.64 version, I think it's called the XL, it should work the exact same. So all you do is find this little screw right above the <laughs> eject button for the lens. What is that called? I like, is, we're gonna call it an eject button. There's a little recessed screw in there that you'll use your tiny little screwdriver to pull that sucker out. I grabbed a cleaning cloth and then I just, you grab this little black part of the optic here and you just unscrew that sucker. Go counterclockwise, I guess you're not really unscrewing it. I tested it a bunch of times. I would kind of like rotate it to the left a little bit, put it back on my camera, check the infinity focus, and then like go a little farther back on the camera, check the focus. And at the end of it, all I had to do was go all the way counterclockwise until it wouldn't spin anymore and then my infinity focus was perfect. But you should check your infinity focus with minor adjustments, like maybe just do like a little whoop, go check it, do another whoop, check it, and then see it when your infinity focus becomes nice and sharp. With my Tokina 11 to 16 2.8, it still isn't perfectly sharp at infinity, but it's pretty dang close. Um, and I think that's just because like Sigmas are super sharp, like probably a lot sharper than this. Check it on like your sharpest lens, should be good to go. That way you don't have to worry like, about your infinity focus when you're on a client shoot or something like that. That was like kind of a scary moment. I was like, I hope this footage doesn't turn out crappy. So thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you guys out and happy shooting. Cheers.